Hi everyone, Michael Cappuccini here, and today I'm going to compare the Kindle Scribe to the Kindle Basic 2022 version. So both of these devices came out this year. Uh, I believe the Kindle Basic came out around October, and the Kindle Scribe came out in late November. So the Scribe is, and I have individual reviews for both, so watch both of those videos. Uh, but the big differences are obviously the size. That's the biggest difference uh, is that the Kindle Scribe is gigantic. It's the largest Kindle ever. The basic is the smallest Kindle ever, as far as I can. It's the smallest Kindle I've ever had, uh, and I kind of love that. I think that it's great how small this is. It's very lightweight, easy to hold with one hand, just a fantastic reading experience. It's got a 300 PPI HD display, the exact same display that you're getting here. So if you're not the the reading quality is just as good on this budget Kindle as it is on this high end Kindle, but. This is plastic, so it's kind of like a, a cheaper material that it's it's you know, housed in. This is metal. It's got a metal backing. It's got this glass cover. It's um, obviously it's much brighter. It has a warm light. This does not have a warm light. This has an auto brightness feature where it adjusts automatically to your surroundings. So if you're in you know, a lighter room, darker room, it will adjust based on that. This doesn't have that. This obviously also comes with uh, a pen or pencil so you can write on it and take notes and do all the notebooks and things like that that make the scribe the scribe this doesn't have that uh, this is 99 dollars, so it's really really affordable this is hundreds of dollars i believe it starts at 300 and uh, some change yeah and obviously if you get the one with more memory it costs even more so it really comes down to you got to ask yourself you know, what am I willing to pay for and what am I looking to get out of my reading experience? If you are looking to take lots of notes, like at work or in school, um, and you want to have access to your Kindle ebooks on the same device, and you're really trying to like go paperless, this is a great option. It really is. However, if you don't really care about note taking and you just want to have that great display just in a smaller surface area, then the basic Kindle might be for you. I mean, it's really a fantastic device. It's essentially the, this is the form factor they've had for a very long time, right? Ever since they had the Kindle Touch. If you remember the Kindle Touch, which predated the Kindle Paperwhite, that's where we are. You know, that evolution from the Kindle Touch to today has led us to the basic model of the Kindle being this great. I mean, it, it's, so light so comfortable to hold this it's pretty good but really um i prefer to read this propped up in its stand i mean because it's metal it's kind of heavy and it's cold right it's not exactly as inviting as the tiny candle so i do love the scribe for the note-taking features for being able to read comic books uh easily and on a large screen I love the warm light. I think that's terrific. I do take notes every day on it. Um, I love both. And that's also a, a, an option for you. It doesn't necessarily have to be an either or situation. You could probably use both like I do. So I keep this one at home pretty much. Um, I don't really bring it into the office or, or school or anything like that. I may in the future, who knows? But for now, it's really just kind of my, my home base Kindle. Um, the the basic Kindle, I think, is great for travel. Uh, if I, I can throw it in my back pocket of my jeans, you could put it in a handbag, you could put it in a backpack. Um, you know, I brought it to work the other day so I could read the news on it. So really, this is a great option. Um, I feel like you can't go wrong with the Kindle Basic. It's just asking yourself, do I need more than one Kindle? And if I need more than one Kindle, do you want it to be the scribe? I think the Scribe is a fantastic device with lots of capabilities and features. Again, watch my video reviewing this device so you can see what all that's about. But if you just simply want to read and uh, do it at the most affordable price and have access to the largest ebook library in the world, um, the basic might be the way to go. So that's it. So, I mean, what are your thoughts on the Scribe versus the basic Kindle 2022 version? Do you own either of these devices? Are you thinking about owning one or both of them? If so, which one? Uh, let me know down below. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, 
Visit me at michaelcappuccini.com for more great content. And I really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, as I mentioned in my other video, um, it is almost Christmas. So if you celebrate Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, New Year's, whatever it is you celebrate, I wish you a happy holiday or happy holidays coming up. And I'm wishing uh, you and your family nothing but peace, love, joy, and good health in the new year. So thanks so much for tuning in. Um, yeah, it's been my comparison of the Kindle Scribe and the Kindle Basic 2022 edition. Thanks so much. Have a great day. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.